Hello everybody, welcome back to the Wisconsin Greg Show. Um, just sitting in my truck here at Natureland Park. I'm on my way to the, there's a flowing well over here to get some water. Uh, uh, it's a very good drinking water. Everybody from the area goes there to get it. Uh, it's a, I've done a video on it before. Um, but anyways, I've been asked, or I mentioned about two or three weeks ago, uh, I was planning on telling you earlier, I've been asked, I mentioned in a video about me making a change to the farm operation. And uh, a lot of people are curious about what that was, and I've had people message me and think, wonder if they missed it or not. And uh, no, you haven't missed it yet. Uh, I just haven't been able to uh, announce it yet. Um, and I was going to play a joke on you all, like uh, kind of like that Mr. Mach 1 guy likes to play jokes on you. He always well, he says he's gonna, he sold his car that he's been working on for three years or two years or whatever. But no, I couldn't do that. Uh, uh, I'm going to come out and tell you the truth, what's, what's happening and everything. And... Uh, Nothing really changed too much. Uh, uh, I, w I didn't sell the farm or anything like that. I was going to tell you I sold the farm and I'm moving to Hawaii or something like that. But no, I couldn't do that. But uh, anyways, uh, it's kind of going to be a little different. Um, I ended up renting the farm out for five years. Uh, I uh, just kind of figured uh, it's, it's, this was a pretty decent year. And uh, uh, I don't think we're going to have a whole lot of decent years coming like we've had in the last couple of years. I think things are going to turn around to the worst. Um, I mean, and and decent is that what I'm talking about is decent in prices uh, for what we're getting, but it ain't decent for what we're spending on crops and stuff, or for uh, fertilizer and chemicals and all that stuff. And uh, uh, it, it's just kind of a uncertain economy right now, and that's one of the reasons, one of the big top reasons is why I'm kind of backing out of it right now because I the farm income I, I'm that's what I live off of right now I used to work another job uh, but with it being so volatile right now it's pretty scary uh, if you got a whole lot of money spent on farm uh, seed uh, chemicals fertilizer all that you expect to get that back but if we have a sudden drop off in uh, prices uh, there could be a whole lot of farmers in trouble and uh, I figured I'm better off to at my age to get out right now and uh, rent it out at least for five years and see what happens uh, if the economy was super stable you know and you could kind of depend and I mean you always know every year prices are going to go up uh, to a certain extent you know two three five seven percent or you know not even that much but there's been substantial craziness with uh, fertilizer prices which is like doubled like uh, it used to be three four hundred dollars a ton and now they're eight hundred eight hundred dollars a ton and even close to nine not over nine sometimes it depends on when when you go and buy it and who you who get prices from and all this and uh seed corn and soybeans are just nuts i remember when i was starting out uh you could get untreated soybean seeds for like thirteen dollars a bag from the local area of a seed guy near me that used to clean seed and resell it for seed and stuff and now you get it's all treated and it's like seventy dollars a bag and uh it's just uh the seed stuff hasn't been a problem too bad uh it that's been growing you know almost the same every year but the fertilizer prices are just crazy and the fuel prices just nuts uh and uh when you got a whole ton of money spent on that and then the next year you got to spend a whole ton more and then let's say the economy all of a sudden just drops off and corn goes down to uh, say 350 that's where it used to be around 350 a bushel and uh it's right now i think around 630 something like that uh, in my area and uh if it drops down to that and there's going to be a whole lot of farmers in trouble um uh, at least I, I got my farm rented out to uh, just my work land. Uh, the people that were doing my harvesting for the last seven, eight, nine years, I don't remember how long they've been doing it. Uh, but they're very big farmers, and I have no worry about getting money from them. They're, they're very financially sound, in my opinion. Um, so... Anyways, that was, uh, there's, like I said, there was lots of reasons I decided to get out now. One was my age. Uh, some of it was my health problems. As, as some of you know, I had kidney stones this summer, and that tied me up for like two, two and a half months. Uh, that was awful. Um, I've had them before and never even know I've, I didn't have no problems. Uh, this is the second time. 
but if I ever had that when it's seed time to plant the fields or something, I'm in trouble because I, it's just me. I'm a I'm a one one uh, farmer farm operator. Uh, I don't have workers for me. Uh, I don't have a wife. I don't have kids. I uh, it's just me. So every the whole operation depends on me. So. I'm getting up there in age where it's kind of risky for that. Uh, if I have to, let's say I got sick during planting season and stuff, uh, I'd have to hire hire it all done, and you know it's, you might have to do that. But that ha that's always happened. But um, just I've had some health, a few little health issues here and there, and uh, uh, that's one. I be that's just one of the things that I've been considered in there before I made the decision. Maybe it was a good decision. Maybe it's not going to be a good decision. I ain't going to know that until after five years. Um, I'm hoping it's a good decision. Um, uh, I could have just sold the farm, but uh, that's that's to me that, that's the last thing I ever want to do. Um, and I figured if I waited till the cra if we have a crash and let's say uh, prices all drop on things and you can't get your money back, uh, I figure it's better to get out now during a good year than it is during a bad year. Kind of reminds me of the old Kenny Rogers gambling song. Got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them. Know when to walk and know when to run. Uh, uh, I, I, hoping I made the right, uh, I'm hoping I, I folded, uh, you know, right in the right time. And uh, made the right decision. So anyways, uh, it's going to be different. Um, but the, the channel won't have me farming on there. Um, maybe we'll go for a ride on them in their combine once in a while or something, uh, who knows. Um, but I'm not planning on that. Um, but I still will have my tractor out doing things and, uh, I'm going to hold on to my equipment for pr probably a while anyways to see how things go. And, uh, and who knows in five years, if, uh, this doesn't work out, I can go back into farming again. Uh, I, I don't have a whole lot of acres. I have only 80 acres of work land. So, uh, it's something I can jump into, but I think I, I got a feeling it's going to be uh, uh, ne the next two years especially, and I, I say we're not going to say, see any relief out here in the public, I think, till about three years. That's my that's just my guess. Um, I can see food prices continuing to rise this year uh, just because of the prices of fertilizer and seed and um, everything. Like I said, soybeans are it's like $70 a bag right now for treated the seed for soybean years ago when I first started, I think it was $13. Um, another thing is we haven't had a bad year of weather for a long time and that that's due. Um, we can, we've had droughts, uh, here where you hardly get any crops and we've had, uh, uh, really wet weather and stuff where you can't get it in or it gets washed away and stuff. And we haven't had nothing bad for quite some time. Um, I've been farming, I think, on the farm that I'm at, um, I believe it's 30 years. I'm going to have to look. Um, I think 29 by myself, if I recall, the first year me and my brother did it together. My brother got out. He didn't want to do it. Uh, I don't know exactly why, but he didn't want to farm. And so then I just farmed it by myself for like 29 years. And sometimes I, uh, there was a couple, a couple times my wife was in there and she helped out a little bit at the time. I'm divorced, I'm divorced now for quite some time. I don't even remember how many years now, but uh, she did help out a little bit here and there. Um, but right now I'm a one man operation. So I got to, you know, uh, I, I couldn't afford to be out of the deal if I got sick or something. Um, but all there's a lot of stuff that I considered, all kinds of things. I, I thought I'd done a lot of thinking in the last couple months, and this kind of a last minute operation, uh, or decision, I should say. Uh, as you've probably seen, one of my last my last video, I believe, on the farm was me plowing. Uh, if I knew I was going to run it out, I wouldn't have plowed it. Um, also, I put fertilizer on the farm uh, before I rented it, but um, the people renting it, they paid for the fertilizer, so that was good. Um, but anyways, uh, uh, yeah, there's a whole lot of stuff that went into it. Uh, I know a lot of people have been curious, uh, cause basically this channel is about my life and, uh, I don't know where it's going to go right now, uh, but, uh, I think it's going to be good. So it's, the videos are going to continue and I'm, uh, tell you there's probably going to be more videos. Um, I'm going to be doing a whole lot of stuff in my workshop. And uh, don't worry, ladies, there's going to be stuff for you guys, uh, for, for you ladies and girls. Uh, 
in the workshop. I'll be making some stuff that hopefully you'll enjoy too. Um, uh, that's, let me see, I made a couple notes so I don't forget. Well, another reason is that I'm, I kind of had enough with the deal, deal around with the farm is uh, just uh, people nowadays that I have to deal with to get stuff done for the farm or um, bankers and uh, uh, people that I buy my stuff from, chemicals and seed and stuff. Some of that used years ago, I've had I always had r really good luck, but recently, just uh, the people are just lazy and uh, or they don't know what they're doing or they just don't care. I don't know what it is. Uh, they'll uh, you can call them and you know tell them you're interested in buying some seed or something. And see, I think the problem is, is I'm too small. They want the big guys. They want the big acres. They're the farmers that run 1,000 acres, 2,000 acres. And they don't want to mess around with me. <clears throat> um, but they don't They don't even come, not, you know, looking for my business. Uh, and I tell them to call me, you know, whenever they get some prices for the new year. And uh, then we can set something up. And I'm still waiting for a call from December 15th. That guy was supposed to call me back. Hasn't returned the call. So evidently you don't want too much business. Uh, it's kind of kind of bad. Uh, had the same problem with uh, uh, another bank that I have a, had a line I had a line of credit with. Uh, I had a line of credit with them for probably eight. I don't remember eight years, maybe nine, somewhere in that area. And uh, then the guy that I did all my business with, he was really good. He uh, left the bank and uh, probably for the same reasons because he couldn't people they just don't do their jobs there some of them and um uh, this other guy took over and this other guy is horrible he just don't return calls he just don't do nothing um uh, and then he, like he approved me my loan and i have nothing no papers nothing i mean if that guy would have got fired which i wouldn't doubt if he ever does get fired um then I, here I am saying if I call up to go get some money to, you know, to hold me over till the next year until I get my payment for my corn or something, uh, they could say, oh, we don't have nothing here it, because I have nothing in writing. It's, I didn't like how that guy did his business and, and he never returned his calls. But the guy before him was so good. Excellent. And uh, so I switched banks and I got a really good guy now. He seems really decent. Uh, he answers his phone when I call. It's not like an answering machine. And, uh, or if he, I guess if it is an answering machine, I haven't had that yet, but I'm sure he'd call me right back. He's, uh, excellent. Just, he's, he's a great guy to talk to. Uh, so just like my other guy was, but these new guys come in and they don't know what they're doing and they just don't care. I don't understand it. Um, they just don't return calls. They just, they're just horrible. I don't know how they keep their jobs. Um, but, uh. I guess these places are so desperate for people to work, they'll just take anybody, and it's just crazy. Uh, but it, these businesses better start thinking or training their help because uh, people are leaving because of that. Um, the bank that I went to now are for for a line of credit, uh, which most farmers have, it's called a line of credit. It's kind of like a credit card. It's like when you don't have the money hand, you, you can pay buy something and then pay for it later when you do get your money because a farmer doesn't get paid weekly like a like you guys in a factory or whatever do um so you gotta kind of plan your spending out and sometimes you gotta pay with a line of credit and then when you get your money in from your crop or whatever then you pay your line of credit off that's how that works uh but yeah it's just horrible that these people can come in it's not that they're bad people they're nice people but they're just not doing their job uh, same thing with um one from jefferson um uh and uh they put on my fertilizer last year when it was like 97 degrees on out there and it was just it just evaporated I mean, it's just ridiculous. And I told him on the phone the day before, don't put it on when this is hot. And I, I couldn't believe it. The next day I look out and there's out there spraying it. And he says, oh, I told my helpers not to do it. And it's like, that's not my fault. Your helpers did it. I mean, you're in charge. Uh, it's just, uh, these businesses are just horrible. They don't care. If they just don't care. They just, <laughs> I guess that's it. Just don't care. Uh, 
I don't understand it. It's just horrible dealing with these people. So uh, that that considered in that was part that considered into me uh, renting this out for five years and seeing what happens with with this crazy world that we're living in. But anyways, yeah. Another thing, like with this COVID and everything, um, a lot of the places are using that for excuses and stuff. And like, if you can't get a part for your tractor or something, it's all COVID. It's all because of COVID. 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 Uh, you know, um, some of it might be true, but some of it ain't. I know for a fact because I found out through the grapevine uh, that one, what one person was telling me about something was not true. Uh, but they use that as an excuse just to get a skim by or so they don't get blamed or for, like if they forgot to order it or something. And it's, uh, oh, it's not, it's coming, it's coming, you know. <laughs> There's so many excuses used because of that COVID. Uh, but uh, if, like my farm operation, I only have like one tractor and, uh, and, and you know, one plow, one, one planter and everything. If something major breaks down on something, I'm done. I can't go, uh, you know. And uh, with this, the way the kind or the, it is, this world is with getting parts and stuff nowadays, that's another reason that considered in that I considered in before I made my decision. Um, there's just a whole lot of stuff going on in this world. It's just crazy. Um, but a lot of it is because of my age. Um, I wanted to get out while getting was good. And uh, so anyways, I just wanted to come on here. And uh, uh, if you got any questions, let me know. But um, the, the channel is still going to keep going. And I'm guessing it's going to be stronger than ever. Cause there's going to be me doing more art. Um, going to probably bring in some things that I have not have, haven't done for a while on my channel, like metal detecting, um, stuff in my shop. Um, maybe some more cooking videos, who knows? Um, there'll be all kinds of videos of me. Like I always do going around certain events around the area. Maybe I'll spread my area out a little bit further now that I got more time. Uh, go visit some other cities around this area, some of cities I haven't been to. Uh, so this channel is going to continue. It's going to be bigger than ever and probably better than ever. In fact, uh, I hope it's better than ever. Hopefully you don't get sick of, sick of watching me because I'm on too much. Uh, maybe even eventually get doing some more live streams. Uh, I've only done three of them, but um, I need a little bit more practice with them. But maybe we'll get doing some more live streams. So anyways, I uh, wanted to let you know what the big uh, announcement was or the change on the farm. And uh, we'll let you all go. If you got any questions, let me know. Uh, make sure to leave a comment and subscribe and leave a thumbs up if you like it. If you don't, leave a thumbs down, whatever you want to do. And we'll catch you on the next Wisconsin Greg Show. Take care, everyone. Bye now.